ever stumbled upon a gem from 1965, a classic Western comedy that's a perfect blend of humor, action, and a touch of sadness. The story unfolds as a young woman seeks vengeance for her father's murder, teaming up with a less than sober gunfighter. The characters from the fearless protagonist to the stumbling sidekick each bring a unique charm to the screen. What makes this movie special is the legendary actor Lee Marvin, who delivers a memorable performance, portraying both a drunken gunfighter and a villainous hired killer. As you watch, be on the lookout for funny, shocking, and even somber moments that unfold, creating an unforgettable experience. So, who was your favorite character in this wild ride? Whether it's the determined lead or the versatile Lee Marvin, share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. And don't forget to grab some popcorn. You're in for a treat with this classic Western comedy. Enjoy the show. In 1965, a movie hit the screens with a tale set in the Wild West. It follows the story of a spirited young woman who returns to her family's ranch in Wyoming. Upon her arrival, she discovers that a heartless railroad tycoon is threatening to take over the land. To fight back, she hires a notorious gunslinger who turns out to be a washed-up drunk. The movie revolves around her efforts to train the gunslinger and seek revenge on the tycoon. Along the way, they encounter various colorful characters and embark on shootouts and wild adventures. The dusty towns and sprawling landscapes of the Wild West set the stage for their journey. The main characters include the determined heroine, the comically inept gunslinger, and the villainous tycoon. The movie received critical acclaim for its blend of comedy and Western themes, winning an Academy Award for Best Original Song and garnering nominations for Best Actress and Best Adapted Screenplay. With its humor, memorable characters, and catchy musical numbers, the movie remains a beloved classic of American cinema. Lee Marvin essentially reprised his Kid Schelling character four years later for his portrayal of Ben Rumson in Paint Your Wagon. Ironically, where critics had lauded the scenery chewing of his earlier performance, they crucified his work on the same grounds in the later film. Of course, in this film, he doesn't attempt to sing. Frankie Ballou claimed that he heard a lecture by an ex-congressman who claimed that the Sioux were one of the lost tribes of Israel. In the 18th and 19th century, suitable for the time period of the film, there were scholars who entertained that notion. In Wedidini 31, a Bible professor named Epaphras Jones noted similarities in European Jews and Aborigines in America. Included among the American Film Institute's list of 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Music in the Movies for the song The Ballad of Cat Ballou. Ranked 10 on the American Film Institute's list of the 10 greatest films in the Western genre in June 28, Cat Ballou has left an indelible mark. Nat King Cole and Stubby Kay's performances are conveyed entirely through song. Interestingly, Kay was supposed to be the Sunrise Kid, while Cole was to be Professor Sam the Shade. However, their roles got switched during filming, adding a comedic twist to their characters. The tight schedule or the director's decision led to this change being retained in the final edit. Cat Balu remains a classic of the genre, appreciated for its unique approach and memorable characters. Initially, the lead actor faced challenges understanding the movie script. Despite grappling with the storyline, they eventually embraced the role of Cat Balu due to contractual obligations with Columbia Pictures. The film, directed by Elliot Silverstein, who replaced Burt Kennedy, became a notable piece in the actor's cinematic journey. The movie's influence extended beyond the silver screen, inspiring two distinct NBC pilots in 1971. Each of these pilots featured different actors, showcasing the versatility and adaptability of the original concept. It highlighted the enduring appeal of the narrative that went beyond casting changes. As the project underwent shifts in direction and personnel, Elliot Silverstein's directorial skills played a pivotal role in shaping the final outcome. The transition from Kennedy to Silverstein injected a fresh perspective into the production, bringing a unique touch to the storytelling. Looking back, the movie's influence rippled through the entertainment landscape, leaving a lasting impression on subsequent projects. The twists and turns in bringing this character to life reflected the dynamism of the film industry during that era. The tale of its creation and adaptation showcases the collaborative and ever-evolving nature of filmmaking. Amidst the making of a famous movie in 1965, the actors had a lot of fun, especially Lee Marvin, who played two roles. The director, Elliot Silverstein, remembers Marvin's funny acting style, making everyone laugh on set. Even though Silverstein was unsure sometimes, Marvin's funny acting won. The producer, Harold Hecht, noticed how funny Marvin was and convinced Silverstein to trust Marvin's way of acting. The movie was the last one for Helene Hill, which added a sad touch to the making of it. 
They filmed in a beautiful valley in Colorado, which made the movie look great. Looking back, despite the challenges, the movie Cat Baloo is remembered for the fun everyone had, and the great acting, especially Lee Marvin's. It shows how people working together can make something special happen. In the film, Lee Marvin's character, Kid Shalene, doesn't make his entrance until about 36 minutes into the story, despite a brief appearance as Tim Strawn earlier on. This makes Marvin's performance noteworthy, as he had limited screen time to establish two distinct characters. His achievement in winning the Best Actor Oscar with such minimal screen presence was rare, with only Lionel Barrymore in 1931 having won with less time on screen. Michael Callan, born in Philadelphia, changed his surname at 17. Nat King Cole, who appeared in the film, passed away several months before its release. In the mid-1960s, there was a famous movie that brought together a big group of actors, including Jane Fonda and Lee Marvin. Fonda was part of a close group of friends that included Katherine Schneider, Diane Cannon, Holly Near, Maria Shriver, Pat Mitchell, Paula Weinstein, Rosanna Arquette, and Vanessa Redgrave. But she added her own style to the movie. Meanwhile, Lee Marvin, after acting in The Great Scout and Cat House Thursday in 1976, decided to take a break from acting, which was a big change for him. Nat King Cole, who was known for many talents, sang every night at a club in Lake Tahoe while they were filming. It was impressive because he had to travel between Lake Tahoe and the movie set every day. People noticed he had a cough and lost weight, but nobody knew he had lung cancer. This shows the tough times artists sometimes face, even when it's not obvious. These behind-the-scenes stories give more depth to the movie, showing the personal and professional challenges the actors faced. It's a story about friendship, taking breaks, and dealing with tough times, and it shows the real side of making movies. Amidst the vibrant tapestry of Hollywood's history, there exists a tale of camaraderie and lasting bonds forged during the making of a beloved film. In the heart of this narrative lie the connections between talented individuals, their collaborations transcending the silver screen to etch their names in cinematic lore. For one actor, the movie served as a sanctuary during trying times, offering solace amidst personal struggles. Another found his place within the cast, contributing to its allure with his performance. A third, in a minor yet memorable role, sparked a partnership that would extend beyond the confines of one film, shaping Hollywood's landscape for years to come. The magic of the movie lies not only in its star-studded ensemble, but also in the friendships that blossomed during its creation. These connections woven into the fabric of its production continue to resonate, leaving an unmistakable imprint on the careers of those involved. As the years pass, the movie's significance endures, a testament to the power of collaboration and the lasting impact of shared creativity. It remains a cherished piece of cinematic history, immortalized by the talents who breathe life into its characters and story. In the annals of Hollywood, this tale stands as a reminder of the transformative nature of filmmaking, where bonds formed on set can transcend time and space, leaving an indelible legacy for generations to come.